Tensions are currently high between Daegu residents and Muslim students from Gyeongpuk National University. In 2020, after obtaining the permission of the local district office to transform the house they used as a worship center since 2014 into a full mosque, local residents petitioned against the project which led to the halt of the construction. Since the construction was allowed to push forward based on the decision of South Korea's Supreme Court, but protestations amplified. As residents complain about noise, cooking odors, and affluence of people in the neighborhood, the Muslim community of Daegu faces Islamophobic banners and actions. To open discussions about Islam in Korea, Novasia magazine had the pleasure to welcome a member of the Muslim community to relay his experience in South Korea and address the situation in Daegu. My name is Mahmoud Laharish. I'm from Libya. I've been in Korea for almost two years now. I'm a student in MBA, Master of Business Administration in Busan. As a person came from Libya, which is we live in Muslim society, I was born in a Muslim family as well as like almost 100% of Libyans. We identify ourselves as Muslim before we identify ourselves as Libyan. In our place, we born as a Muslim. The religion is there waiting for you. Because we live in Muslim society and every aspect of our life is related to Islam, our traditional stuff like holidays is all related to Islam, like Ramadan for now and Eid. For every Friday we go to a mosque. It's normal for every Muslim. And since we are young, like our brothers like go and we see them and we are excited to go when we grow up. And mostly they start teaching us how to pray when we are seven years old. And by time, it's just something we want to do. We want to copy them. We want to go to the mosque. We pray with them. And also we take it in school since maybe first year in school, second we start studying about Islam and history of Islam. It's kind of something routine we do every day in every aspect of our life. I can describe Islam in my perspective in one word, it's peace. But as you know how they show Islam in the world now, lots of people, they lost the real meaning of Islam. The main thing about Islam is like peace. Even when we say hi, we say like, Assalamu Alaikum, which is really literally mean like peace, like on you or be upon you. For me, this is how I can explain Islam, like just peace. Libya and Korea, Islam is the same wherever you go. In Libya, it will be more easy for me, more than Korean, because in Libya, like you can find mosques and everywhere. It's more easy to go to pray on Friday because on Friday we have to go. Uh, here in Korea, it's really hard. Like the nearest mosque for me is like you have to go like 30 minutes by subway minimum, and uh, most of the specific mosques, like speaking Indonesian or. Malaysian, so I'm just sitting, I understand nothing inside the mosque, I'm just praying with them. Maybe that's small things, but other aspect of Islam is just, we do it wherever you go, wherever you stay, it's nothing change. In Islam, we pray like five times a day, and that thing is similar every place you go. Like we have morning and the noon and afternoon and evening and night praise. It is, we have to do, we cannot skip, and it's, you know, since I'm in Korea, I do it in Libya, I do it in any place, it's the same. It's not like forced to go to the mosque, like only on Friday. And, you know, it's only one prayer on Friday, to be more specific. But the other prayers is just normally do it anywhere you like. If you do it in the mosque, it's better for you as a believer. And if you do it in home, it's fine. And to add one more thing, like in mosque, you can pray any time of these five times, or extra, it's up to you, like you go and pray. Uh, we're not forced to do it, as I said, and only on Friday, but let's say when you like going out or you are in work, working place or a place like you cannot pray, like we normally go to the mosque to pray. It's more comfortable to f if you pray it in mosque. In the first time I came to Korea, I was afraid to say I'm a Muslim. I was thinking of how stereotyping they have on Islam. So it's like, oh, Muslim terrorist. By time we, for example, we go to Korean restaurants and we, when we ask for food, we ask like, no pork. I found them actually, they're really welcoming. They're really opening. I was like, oh, no, it's okay. And some restaurants actually, they just, when we go and we have a girl wearing hijab with us and they know like, oh, she's a Muslim. So from the first time they just tell, oh, like this menu, this side has pork, this side has no meat. 
So it's like they're really welcoming. They don't have this kind of stereotyping about things. Maybe some, but the majority is really open to Islam. As Muslim being shown in the media, it's really sad how they showing all Muslim as terrorists, especially media that is related to the West. Since the war of terrorists, as they mentioned, like let's say Iraq war and Afghanistan, how they show the way of them showing Islam, which is we as a Muslim, we don't consider that as Islam, even for us and how the U.S. show this kind of media as that is Muslims. This kind of news become popular in media and like the m most easy thing is like social media to spread this news. So you can say like 20 years of this news how people will have perspective about Muslim because of this. If someone was born in 2000 for example he's now 20, 23 years old and since that time till now he's like hearing news about Muslim like let's say in Korea for example he has no idea about Muslim or Islam or anything and just hearing the news, ah, oh, Muslim, oh, like, you know, terrorist stuff. Like these two things always showing together in media. So normally he will, I cannot blame him, he has just had this idea from media. I mean, they only show the news when some extreme Muslim did something and he suddenly become terrorist and they, all the news covering the same thing. But they only focus mostly on this part more than like the normal life. The ordinary people is just living normally like anyone you can see them everywhere just being normal. But how media show them is just different I can say from place to place. In the east side of Asia and they, I think they have few present of Muslim community and media. Even in Korea. I've been living for two years. I almost see nothing about Muslim in general. No news, no show, like no media, nothing related to Muslim. That's actually an interesting question. Why people in Diego do something like that? That's all related to the stereotyping having of Islam. If I'm in their place, maybe I will have the same thinking like they are Muslims, they are extreme, maybe like ISIS. This kind of thinking will you have if you don't really know what is Islam and if you don't really meet Muslims before. And I heard about Diego and I read uh, about it before and what happened. I also see like people doing pork barbecue in the front of the mosque for us is so forbidden and like this kind of behavior is really sad to see it in a country like one of the most development countries in the world in 2023 and we see this kind of behavior it's really sad. I don't know if I can blame them or not that's what I'm feeling for as Mahmoud. They're just brainwashed about Islam. But from the second hand, it's just like something you cannot really accept. It's really disrespectful. They only do that when it's about mosque. And I'm not comparing religion, but if any other religion were like trying to do a church or a Buddhist place, they will just be okay, normal. But when this came to mosque, they suddenly become aggressive, like not acceptable. Mm, I cannot get the logic of about this, but as I said, maybe it's just how they got Islam in their uh, thinking. Between each other, the Muslim and citizen of Diego, I don't think they will find common ground because this issue has been for months now and there's no solution you can see. So I think government should be involved and trying to find any kind of solution they can do. Because if they didn't allow to build mosque, it will be like having bad reputation about Korea maybe. Like they are racist against Islam or something like that, even if it's not true. And from other side, Muslim as well as any other religions, they have the right to build a mosque, uh, pray, do any kind of Muslim activities, it's their, it's their freedom, their rights. Hmm. I totally agree with that. If they have the knowledge or the background about Islam, how we know it, they will be normal with building the mosque or anything. They will be just welcoming. But since they have the 
bad reputation about it. It's really hard to change it now. I think Muslim community, especially the Muslim community in Korea, they should focus on media and show the real Islam. They show how they live, how they interact with people, uh, explain things about Islam that the normal people know. I think that won't fix the problem, but it will make it better, like slowly. It needs time and lots of effort. Well, I can say that Islam is about peace and love. For anyone watching, if you know any Muslim, just go to him and just tell him, like, oh, tell me about Islam. I want to know, like, what is Islam? And he will just be, like, welcoming and, like, explain anything you want to know. You can even ask him, like, things that you feel it's sensitive to ask, like, is really Islam is about terrorists? Is, it, is that real in Islam? And he will be so happy to explain all of these things to you. So you know Muslim, you can really count on him for anything. You can ask for any kind of help. Mostly they'll be like welcoming you. Especially if you like show interest, for example, to know something about Islam or anything related to Islam. Don't just get the wrong reputation from media. Just go and figure out by yourself. My wish would be to end this kind of stereotyping and having bad reputation about Islam. If you don't know it, if you only hear from the media, just go and find by yourself. And I hope to, to never see any extreme. And in the end, I just want to say Islam is about peace and love, not what media shows you. And thank you. Wassalamu alaikum.